All right, we're back into the game. What up? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm glad this chair's comfortable, but my... Everything hurts. All right. So, should we drop off the plate to Joseph? Of course. Right? Because he yeah. was cute. I think we got a ton of good neighbor points if we bring this. I think we get a ton of good neighbor points if we bring this back. We're going to be the best neighbors in this whole cul-de-sac. Cul-de-sac! That's weird. I didn't know it was spelled that way. Neither did I. <laughs> We're going to kick all the other neighbors' butts with kindness. Amanda and I step outside. Ah. Shoot, I'm actually not sure which house this is. Hmm. I'd ha what? Hazard? I guess it's the big one with all the well-groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. Good eye, kid. Good eye, Remember, sniper. we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it light. We walk up to the kids and wave. Hi, children! Oh, God. Lordy Lord. What is with their eyes? Why are they all, like, sleep-deprived? <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, is your dad around, or are you, just, are you haunting things? They all just stare at us <laughs> blankly. We just wanted to, uh, return this nice plate, and thank you for the cookies. Jeez, these definitely are Joseph's kids. They all look exactly like him, except sleep-deprived or malnourished. They huh? were really good. I mean, I heard they were good. I didn't get to eat any. I chuckle nervously. <laughs> well, okay, we're just gonna set this plate down on the ground real gentle and then back away slowly. Right, Dad? Right. That's what we're gonna do. The kids' eyes bore into us as we scurry away. I can feel their gaze on my back even as we approach our house. I need something to get my mind off those carbon copy kids. Let's check out the park. Let's grab some coffee. What is with this guy in coffee? Coffee, 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 coffee. You're not going to keep that physique if you keep drinking coffee, pal. I need to rest my eyes. Want to go check out the park? Sure. Let's go check out the park. Yeah, yeah. let's go pet some dogs. <laughs> Amanda and I begin to stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful... How do we save this, by the way? Yeah, let's let's save it. We This is the first time we're saving. So if it <laughs> crashed, whoopsie. Amanda and I begin to uh, stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street. The flowers are in bloom, and a faint smell of nearby barbecue drifts through the air. Oh, that's 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 good. Yeah. This place is nice. Too nice. Mm. I don't trust it. All right. Really good eye, honey. <laughs> you can never be too careful. See that baby in the stroll over there? <laughs> Government operative. We're on to you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> We walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda stops a nice, spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when, heads up! Ow. A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Woof. A corgi with <gasps> no a neat- No way! <laughs> Are you gonna make me go after this, daddy? Yeah. A corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief tied around its neck bounds up to me, wagging its tail. Did you throw this thing at my head? Oh, I like your necktie. <laughs> Roof. He runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh, God, this is the cutest dog. Impart me upon your wisdom, <laughs> tiny dog. Woof, woof. Do you have tomorrow's lottery numbers? Bark. <laughs> Got it. You definitely could have caught that. Guy in a Hawaiian... Oh, look at him. <laughs> a guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. Well, you're traditionally not to throw them, supposed to throw them at people's heads. It's a new technique. I'll catch it with my teeth next time. Mm. Which one do you think? It's a new technique. It's a new technique. It's like disc golf, but the goal is my face. Looks like you're winning. Ah. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. That's weird because I have I have an uncle Brian, and he looks exactly like <laughs> this, like down to the red hair. <laughs> I'm Begledong, and this is my daughter Amanda. I look over at Amanda only to find her sitting on the ground. Rubbing the dog's tummy. Hi. Your dog is cool. It's literally you. <laughs> ah, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Where's yours? Brian gestures over to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits with a sniper aimed at JFK. Too soon? <laughs> where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. This is Daisy. She's reading the Brothers Karamazov. You're telling me that's not Lee Harvey Oswald right there? <laughs> Her teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. How old is she? Ten! Ah. She's a precious little youngster. Well. My natural dad instincts kick in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Oh no, it's happening! 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Go on, Daisy. Tell him about yourself. Uh, um, I... That's my girl. <laughs> Amanda, get in there. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Wow, congratulations. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. Oof. Oof. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president, too, of course. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. Oh my god, uh, we got 55, he's got 50, no, he's got 55, we've... No, we, no, have, we have 50, okay. Uh, Amanda's in all honors classes this semester. Um, oh, really? I'm actually talking to Daisy's teachers about having her skip a grade. Oof. Even Amanda kind of bristles at that one. You lose 20. Oh, no. Oh, no. Should we use an item? What kind of items do we have? Oh, grade card. Child art. We're gonna go child art. You unfurl your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing of a cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. Cute. It isn't very impressive, but Amanda genuinely appreciates you holding on to it. I regained some. Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get the top prize. A canoe! Okay. We're taking it out next week. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they both just sound the same. Hey, I'm the daughter. Hey, I'm the dad. We're taking it out next weekend. How's that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky hand things. Oh, no. Oh, wait, what? Or brag. A few months back, Amanda started volunteering at the homeless shelter in our old neighborhood. You don't say. She should talk to Daisy. She actually helped organize the food bank here in Maple Bay. Yeah, Amanda, I'm sure we could find something for you to do. I'm, a, I'm assuming these two kids are just standing there like, Um, oh, Dad! You lose 20. Oh, shit. Do I have to win this? Can you get a game over? Amanda still uses a film camera. Wow, most kids her age probably have no idea how. Hell, I'm not sure I know how. I sure don't. Not that I'm any good with my phone's camera either. Haha, <laughs> agreed. You and Brian share a bonding moment. Daisy, Amanda and Daisy look annoyed. He didn't do anything? Amanda here did great on the SAT, right, right, Amanda? I, I mean, yeah, I did fine. Fine? That's great to hear. Did I mention Daisy said her first word at 10 months? Daddy. <laughs> Amanda's was potty, still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. Oh god, am I gonna lose? I'm gonna lose. Unless I can hit him with 10, right here. Amanda, what else are you good at? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm a sparkling conversationalist? Haha, <laughs> that you are. We did it! I've got him on the ropes. You two seem to have such a good relationship. It warms my heart. Uh, why do you have to be such a good loser? So I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood? We just moved in. Do you live around here? Yeah, we live in the cul-de-sac down, down next to the coffee shop. <laughs> what a coincidence. That's where we live, too. Small world. Yeah, Daisy and I are in that little ranch-style house on the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours. Our but slightly bigger and better landscaped. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? What a lovely place. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye. Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell happily trotting along in tow. Do you get the feeling that he was trying to one-up us? Trying? Mm. He was totally gunning for us. He really held your own, though. I couldn't have done it without you, kiddo. I do my best, but wow, I can't believe that kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. <laughs> Shame that plan that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. It's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. Too close to the truth, Dad. 
Uh, Let us never speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic in seven, seven parts by Amanda Snizzles. <laughs> I forgot. That would be her last name, too. We laugh off the horse, epic, and walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. Oh, we gotta stop. Yeah, alright. <laughs>